GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we're going to be doing some, a little bit of crafting, a little bit of moving, you know, some surviving, and so today we actually need to upgrade the hover bike a little bit. Uh, we did hit level six or seven or something just from exploring really so you can see i uncovered quite a bit of the map around us here uh i found polaris and as soon as i went into a polaris this polaris area or somewhere i think it was down here i killed a um otog with the grinder in the front of the sv or the hv and i hit friendly with the polaris so yeah i am friendly with the polaris and this area down here has where is it no 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 aha trading station right there so we're friendly with them now and we found the trading station you can see i marked on the map here home because i think this is going to be our best option we're going to get the best solar, we're beside water, and we're not too, too close to the Xerox, although we are fairly close to them. And there are some resources around us. There's some fuel and whatnot. Um, but realistically, once we upgrade the HV and it can carry some more resources, the, the distance down to the other resources around here is pretty close. It's not that bad. So, to do that, we are going to upgrade. Um, first of all, I think I need to go into Hover Vessel, and we need to make the container controller and extension available. Um, Probably all we need right now. We also need to. We took the multi tool already. Okay, good. And okay, that's good enough for right now. We will be taking a bunch of. Oh, you know what else we gotta do is we gotta take some oxygen. We'll take some food too. On all the hard settings, the consumption is a lot quicker with the food and oxygen, that's for sure. Okay, and then we've got a bunch here. Let's just top that up. Okay. We are good for a while. Um, so what we need to do is make those now so we can make the we don't need a container controller but we need the extensions let's make um 10 20 of them now this is just to move so we we're not going to really trick this hover vehicle out that much uh, believe it or not the repulsors will be good enough to make make us slide along the dirt with with a thruster out the back okay <clears throat> how much uh, oops that's not what I wanted Two fifty-seven consumption while well, the constructor is running. The output is three. It's actually outputting more than what the constructor consumes. Wow! With those, so we, you know what? Once we move up north and get bigger panels going, we're we're going to see some decent numbers here. I think. Excellent. Excellent. Well, it's not even consuming the battery, and it's already charged up to two. Yeah, we're doing just fine with battery here. Okay, what do we got here? It looks like it's done. Let's grab these. Let's 
spawn the drone to do this. Now we want one touching. We want actually. You know what? Let's put them here and here, and then we want another one up here, right? There. For the ammo. So that we can double our ammo storage space. Okay. Um. You know what? I think we can just drag this right across. Boom. And boom. What's that now? One point three eight. Not bad. I don't think it's going to be enough. And also. Bring this in and across. Let's do that. Three there. And three there. What are we at now? 2.13. That might do it. That might do it. That might be good enough. And we'll just leave the top flat for now. Wonder if this thing can even float anymore. Ooh, that's the problem. We start we start putting too much gear on it without uh, upgrading, and it'll just hit the ground. <laughs> it won't do so well. Uh, you know what else we need? We need a Wi-Fi on there. So let's unlock Wi-Fi and get that on there. We can ventilator. We're gonna need that later on. Uh, you know what? I should grab that just in case I lose mine or do something stupid. And we are going to need a bunch of weapons. I don't want to go crazy with with spending points right now until we really, really need to. Uh, I know I'm going to need the large constructor really quickly, but and the solar panels, but whatever. We'll we'll do that when we come to it. Okay, so let's... No, nope, not statistics. Da, da, da. Small cargo. Our controller. Let's get this built. One of those, please. Thank you very much. Well, see, it can make the water generators now. The small constructors. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. We don't want to go too crazy right now uh, with with making heavy stuff because I want to get this um, and we'll put this right here yeah good enough I do need to put another RCS on there and we're gonna put like thrusters and stuff for the front and back and sides and then the proper the proper hover engines um, but we got to get a base going here so Let's see, now that we got a Wi-Fi on there, <clears throat> we should be able to connect to that Wi-Fi. Take a look, we got 2125. Let's uh, do that. Can, what do we got in here? Yeah, see, we can grab everything. I'm just not sure if the hover vehicle can do it, though, is the problem, right? So... Let's try it. Let's see. Let's see. I can grab some stuff too on me, uh, but 400 SU. Okay, so what do we got? We got this, so let's grab that. And we're going to try grabbing that. Um, grab that. I have a feeling we're going to have to come back for the... Uh, For the solar stuff, but let's get this picked up. Okay, so let's head over to this and we'll see what happens when we jump in, we power it up, and can we can we hover it all? A 
little bit. We can move at 49. Okay, well, you know what? You know what? We, we're doing it. We'll be able to do this. I don't know if I can put any more weight in this, though. Uh, if I... I might be able to carry that stuff, though, right? I might be able to carry some of that stuff. Let's, um... Yeah, let's unconnect from here. We've still got seven, 700 in a bit space in it and then we'll oh you know what I don't have a multi-tool made you know we'll just come back for that we'll come back for all that stuff it's gonna be a pain in the butt so let's fill me up with some heavy stuff then what can I grab uh, 2.8 3.2 .2, 2.4 Okay, grab all that to 10. Probably wasn't the best choice, was it? I think the iron was heavier. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, that helped a bit anyway. Okay. So, let's head over there. We'll see, see how this thing is like hitting. It's bottoming out now, right? So it's okay. We'll put on some better gear on it, and it'll be able to handle the weight a little better. But you know what? Still, it's it's chugging along at 49 uh, meters a second. So oh, oh yeah, that was a that was a wicked bottom out. <laughs> And the lights. We, come on. Yeah. I was going to say, we're going to get overrun with darkness pretty soon here. Uh, let's try not going up the mountain. Let's, oh. Yeah, it's bottoming out big time. Let's put our. Uh, hi, Otog. Yeah, we're not hunting right now. We're not trying to level. We're just trying to get a, a location for. Our first base. I mean, I don't consider the wreckage our our first base. That's that's um, wreckage. <laughs> you know, it, the name speaks for itself, and I don't really like the location that well. So I like the location that I found over here better. Oh, don't flip! Come on, you can do it. Oh, hit oh. Yeah, this thing's having troubles with uh, all the weight it's carrying. It's fine. You know, for a little starter. Oh! And we recover. There we go. So, the reason I'm thinking this is going to be our best location. Now, if we look on the map... It is fairly close to Xerox, yeah. but it's really close to uh, the Polaris. It's right on the water. Um, it's it's not that far away from the trading station, which we're going to go visit next episode, probably, hopefully. Actually, next episode will be the start of our um, the start of our base. Yeah, that'll be the next episode. So let's dump all this crap off. And look at the temperature, because we're kind of a little bit further north. I'm just going to put that down for a second. Because we're we're quite a bit further north, it's not so cold, right? So let's connect to that, and then we can put all this stuff in the bar. of it should be light enough to just like that okay so this one it's already got a whole bunch of stuff in it so let's just put everything in this right now and now it actually from the logistics tree we can actually 
shift click left click and it'll go into the uh, go into it but but bringing stuff out is still a pain you got to physically drag it uh, but at least putting it in there <laughs> uh, if you got logistics you can you can put it in fairly easy okay so now we've got that full of our stuff we can go back and get the rest of it once we build a um, multi-tool we get some charges going because we we looted some promethium ore while we're out scouting so we can make a few charges anyway I don't want to go, go crazy with using all that up we'll be able to make a drill and get get charges for the drill right away too because of it okay Good enough. That's all we need. That's all we need. Let's head back. Um, here, let's quickly. Get some fuel in here. Oh, you know what? Before we head, let's throw this down. Where are you? This. Get this going. Uh, here, we'll just throw those in for now, good enough. Always get O2 going. I'm going to build some proper uh, water generators pretty quick here. Really quick, actually. Okay, so now we'll head back. Um, let's mark that. Waypoint, remove, accept. I know it's a bit of a boring episode for you guys, but the first few episodes, I, I tend to not try to do too much off camera um, because there is still a large portion of the survival aspect of the game that requires you to, you know, do maintenance with all your statistics. So um, until I really you know well till I am really really situated and so basically have a base and, and uh, have a place to put stuff I don't like to do a lot of stuff off camera that has threat involved with it and and so the reason why I'm doing it you might not think there's a lot of threat right now, but there is because I, this is all I got. I don't have a base yet, right? You know, sure, I dumped off all my stuff over in the constructors. So, if, you know, if I do die at this point, then uh, um, I won't lose stuff. But, you know, as I have all of my nothing else except for what I have in my hover vessel, that's a little risky, especially if I ran into something that, blew up my freaking container controller. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. So, you know, that's why I'm not cutting out a lot of this boring stuff, so to speak. Okay, so I think we grabbed everything out of there. So that can be pop. That can be pop. And did we grab everything out of here? Yep. Okay. So let's do that. We'll get our set it to retrieve block now is this on prob private okay I was gonna say if it's on public we'll just pick up parts and it'll destroy stuff let's really I just but I just uh, didn't okay whatever we'll see how much I can carry Actually, to tell you the truth, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because the the hover bike can more than carry it. So it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Okay, we need the... Let's take those panels. And 
it's getting dark. We'll grab our tent. And okay, I think that's it. I think we're going to pop the core and get out of here. Okay, you guys. Well, we have a slightly updated HB. Uh, we have a location. Oh, let me drop this down. That's some weight. <laughs> weight. It's got weight. Take some O2. What I really need to do is just throw that in the uh, O2 inside the HV, but that's fine. Okay, so now we're hitting bottom again. So we've got some weight in here. Really. What is, what's 200 SU mass? 1.6 tons. 2 tons. 1.25 tons. 350 kilograms. So we're, yeah, we've got quite a few tons in there. 7.9 tons. Okay, well that's why. Jeez. Jeez. Not very many items, but they're really heavy. They're not necessarily big. They're just heavy. Oh, no. As we capsize into the water. Yep. Look at that. We flip. Oh, come on. Come on. Really? Come on. Come on. Oh, bloody heck. Horrible. Can I get out? Thank you. <sighs> Okay, so how do I flip it back over now that it's so full? We jump in and hit, oh, it just, it's not doing it. What about if I go up? Can I, can I go like that? Yeah, there we go. Oh man, that was difficult. <laughs> And we're full as hell and going slow. So let's try and get up out of the water. Come on. <laughs> I didn't even go onto the water. I capsized going close to the water and it tumbled in. Okay. Oh, this thing is handling like horribly with all the weight. There's more weight in it right now, I think, this time than, than with all the oars. Like, it's just... It's just, it, it's just, oh my god. It's bouncing around like freaking crazy. Oh man, it's super hard to control. And this is another reason why I'm, I'm not cutting this out because it's tough. Can we get it? Can we get there? Okay, so let's make sure that no drones are in front of us. Yeah, go away. We'll, uh, we'll try to avoid hills. Um, oh, crap. I might not be. Can we get up there? Oh, no. Don't tip over. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Undip. Undip. Come on. Oh my goodness, there we go. Whew. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, if a drone comes along while well, I'm tipped over like that, boom, core gone. All my goodies destroyed. Okay, no, no, no. Come on. Erg. <laughs> this is super difficult. Oh man, that hit hard. That hit hard. You know what? I, you know what? I'm just being an idiot. Let's um. <laughs> this makes no sense, and I know, but if I put the really heavy stuff on me, <laughs> that doesn't have a lot of volume to it. I can carry that. Actually, you know what? That's heavier at two tons. I can almost carry that. I can carry that. There we go. Okay. Let's see how this works now. Let's see how we do. Oh, it's a little bit. It, it feels. It feels potentially more responsive. 
And oh, there we go. We're not like bouncing so crazily. <laughs> so there you go. You know, uh, I guess your own body weight, what you're weighing, what what's on you doesn't really count as vehicle weight. <laughs> so <laughs> you know, the magic of uh, of not calculating the avatar's weight and stuff on him creates these little exploits there we go well i'm gonna leave the episode off here uh hope you enjoy it <laughs> um next episode we are gonna definitely start on a base so yeah until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>